Here's the new official Kodi Raspberry Pi case, which I purchased from the Pi store for £16. I know it's also available in America for about 20 US dollars, however I'm not sure the distributor's there. Even the box is quite fancy, a nice bit of padding there at the top. We've got a nice thank you card, thank you for supporting open source, because a percentage of the profits of this case go towards the XBMC Foundation. Undisclosed percentage though. The case comes with four screws and a thermal transfer pad. So the case is aluminium. And you can see the part of the case that juts out here, which will sit on top of the processor. So it really does feel quite nice and sturdy. And yes, that is aluminium. The top is a rubberized plastic, so that's a bit softer. But you can see there it is aluminium across the top with like a with a plastic cover just clipped on. That could possibly come off. Not worried about that though. The base is plastic. I'm not sure how this goes together yet. I haven't picked up the Pi to try it yet. So I've seen it's compatible with the Pi Model 2 and Model 3. Looks like there's little ventilation points there underneath. The side of the case has cutouts for the power supply, HDMI, what's that going to be? Audio, USB and network. You can see it's been made by a company called FLIRC or FLIRC, I'm not really sure of the pronunciation there. Okay, well this is just the first stage so far with just the Raspberry Pi sat on the base. You can see the four holes are lined up there. The micro SD card slot, uh, that's going to be quite hard to get that out of there. You can see there's a very little gap. Yeah, I can barely get my fingers around that. Okay, <laughs> it's not every day we're going to be taking that card out. I just wanted to sit in there nicely while the device is running. As far as the thermal tape goes, applying that, it managed to break as I was peeling it off. I wasn't doing it that hard, so I've just got it stuck one side. I'm going to leave the top piece of tape on there for the moment while I test, it, while I test this out. And that's the case assembled now with the pie inside. I missed off these rubber feet at the bottom when I was looking at it earlier. Yeah, that's screwed in now, four screws holding the case together with the pie securely inside, sandwiched between. Lines up beautifully there. Look at that. Perfect. Let's start it up and see what it's like. Oh, the only thing I've noticed is I can't tell whether the heat sink of the case is actually lined up perfectly with the CPU. Unfortunately, I can't see it there and I can't really feel it either. Here's the new Kodi Pi case situated inside my network cupboard. As you can see, it is pretty busy in here. Not much indication to see where the Pi is actually on, but I can just about make out the network light there. This is the downside for the Pi 3, and I do mention that. But would you like it to be like the Model 1 there, with all those lights on top? Yeah, no. I think that is a bit messy, really. Well, you could see there I was not using that Raspberry Pi as a home theater PC. Now, I do think Kodi on a Raspberry Pi does make a good home theater PC, but I want an excellent one, and for that I use an x86 system, Linux based, that is running Ubuntu server, boot straight into Kodi. I really like that, it can bitstream Dolby True HD and DTS HD, which the Pi can't. Still, I really do like Kodi, so I bought that case, and it solved the problem because I was in need of a case for that Raspberry Pi Model 3, which is running a web server, so it's running 24 7 and it does get pretty warm. Speaking of the heat of it, I, I've had it running for about an hour and it was getting pleasantly warm to touch. It was sort of warm all over on all sides, whereas the Model 2 and Model 1 Pies, they were just warm on top of the case, like directly above the CPU. So I could see it as being efficient at spreading heat out of the system. I removed the last piece of tape over the thermal pad, so it's now making proper contact. So, I'm quite happy with it. I'll see you all later.